<laughs> so this is what happens, I guess, when you drive buy supplies on the street. There's a tear. Where is it at? Did we find it? Yeah. Right here. There's a tear on the sidewall, yeah. which is weird because yeah. right where the... That could have done it just coming off the trailer, you know what I mean? Off that ramp. Do you think so? Could have. Could have pinched it or something yep. like that between the actual trailer and the ramp itself. Because, yep. I mean, we drove it there. We sat it in your garage. Everything was fine. We just drove it two hours here. We, it looks like something pinched it. It could have been the hinge, the trailer hinge. Yep. Yep. Right? Where the gate Well, yeah, because, down. I mean, they do, when they, when they sit on the ground, this does make contact a little bit. And yeah. if you're going over a hump, it would. The rears are okay for... Probably no, another couple know, races, I but I just don't want to ride. What's that say? Racing. <laughs> Poor <laughs> racing. Yeah, I race all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah. For racing purposes, not for highway. What happens when you race on Mexican highways? What, what, How does that what apply? If what if you're putting it in or removing it from a trailer? <laughs> exactly. We're going to uh, basically take these wheels off, swap them out with my setup that I should have on the street. Uh, the radials right there so and we can continue this video two hours later so uh two years and a day later we finally got the wheels put on yeah two years a lot, Haley, a lot of grace later took you two hours to put the wheels on. <laughs> <laughs> not my fault let me oh tell God. you there's gonna be a video coming shortly about these wheels that i think uh is gonna be very informative to you guys but uh we're gonna skip the uh the information at this point and we're gonna go on the street with this thing and uh yeah i'm gonna have to test this out because we don't want to go to the track and uh, throw this thing, you know, at 150 miles an hour and, and be surprised with it. So we're gonna go test this thing out. In Mexico? That's right. Yes. <laughs> Thank God Mexico's only about five minutes away. It's really not too far, local exit. And uh, Jack's gonna come along for the ride. I'm excited. They're really okay, we're good. So. Climbing in with the trailer. Second time, Oh my God. Uh, so you managed to get in there, uh, Rather efficient. I was gonna say that's that's impressive. Actually, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm definitely not as skinny as Lauren. Oh. I'm gonna have to. I don't know if you've ever put a five point harness on Jack, it's, but it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a while. With a five point harness, you're gonna want to have at, it. I'm at four points right now. Okay, you're at four. Oh, it's under my it's under my balls. There's the crotch one. Yep. The bottom one will be will stay where it is. You don't need to adjust that. Okay. Yeah, that one's fixed. That's right. Everything's in tight All now. Right, now we want a strap. First, well, no, first you want to tighten your belt because you want it to be where your belt is, basically. You don't want it to be up by your by your stomach. So you might have to loosen these first. Oh, yeah? Here, hold on. It's a process. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, we're good, dude. I'm, I'm pretty tight in here right now. Before we do the pull, just for safety reasons, you'll want these down so hard that you can't move. Okay. Because you won't come up and you won't, your head won't hit up here. You There's know, you'll be, zero you'll, play. You won't go anywhere, yeah. This is definitely not a car that you'd have to take a pee in. Dude, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I have forgotten things, and I just say, so, no, I don't care. I'm not getting no, out. Too late. Yep. Too it's late. Way, way too late. We'll start up here. Right. Valves open or close right now? The valves are open. Okay. So we're going to... Prepare for death-defying sounds? Yes. Prepare for the startup of the car. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's not really even that loud, dude. No, it's no. no. It's actually quite quiet, you know, once you use it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's very... Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> not even loud at all. <laughs> you know, right before we, we, we took off, I just put my head against the rest because I didn't want to have to deal with the neck muscles, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I think my ears are rattling just a wee bit now. <laughs> it's, it's no joke, man. Oh it's my hard. god. That was sick. That was really <laughs> sick. So it's not only the G-forces that you're experiencing, it's also just the the audio. I mean the retarded amount of yeah. it's insane. That was dope, man. <laughs> so that was that eight, that was no nitrous. No right? nitrous. So with the nitrous shot that you're going to be pulling, it's roughly 200 horsepower worth a 200 shot, or 270 wheel horsepower. Oh, so just just a few <laughs> extra ponies. Yeah, just a few extra ponies. It's literally like adding, I don't even know, like adding another V8, <laughs> a small block V8. Like like the car that Andy's in, like another one of those. 
pretty much. I don't even think his puts down 270, but it might. So we're gonna pull over here. All right, camera's rolling. Shoot's ready. <laughs> so this is what we get when I throw on my uh, reverse camera there. <laughs> and park assist, it just says, park assist off because, well, we've got a parachute in the way now. I was like, park assist off, what, what is that? And then I was like, oh, that's that's why. It's almost as if Chevy knew that we were gonna put a parachute on this, so they decided to have a feature that turned park assist off. So now that we have arrived in uh, good old Mexico, we're gonna show them what it's like with the nitrous. And we'll also be pulling the chute too. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Let's go. within one minute and that's pretty much kind of like what nitrous is like yep either way uh it was a successful uh pull a successful shoot pull i was gonna say was the pull what you expected um we Wait. weren't going we weren't going as fast as we would down, you know, the, strip. down the strip yeah but in mexico we didn't have yeah. the, the availability no, no, to do that yeah yeah we still got to keep it in the speed limit you know what i'm saying so. yeah, yeah 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 i gotta say that the six gen looks good in the other uh in the other bay yeah well do you have to get back or do you want to go for a ride in that? Should we take a ride in the 6th gen? Basically, that's what I'm asking. I, I, basically, why not? I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't we? It's, I mean, it's there. Yeah, you know? it's, it's right there. It's like, And we're here. significantly less horsepower in this thing compared to your your fit gen <laughs> it still feels so fast just to get to the speed limit right. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah of course yeah wow man that is incredible oh prius of course nice the braking power too insane oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that was like speed limit to not speed limit yeah man it's fun dude it's a fun car two totally different worlds <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> when i just get in one and get in the other it's it's i mean i like that though you know absolutely people think uh you know i bought the same car which in a sense i did but not really man we're well, really suited for two different purposes yeah i mean you've got one car that you can come out and you can just do whatever you want with i.e this yeah. i could daily this yeah i'd be totally 100%. fine with it yeah no, it doesn't. But when you take the fifth gen out, it's like, all right, is everything calibrated? Is everything ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! God, that feels good. So if I'm ever late, you know, if I'm ever late to anything, I usually take this car. So, what did you think of the 2017? Oh man, it was <laughs> awesome, dude. I uh, I wish that you didn't take me for a ride in it, to be completely honest. now you gotta buy one, right? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jack got to experience both cars, and um, I'm happy that I could show him that. You guys have to check him out if you don't know who he is. I'm sure you, some of you guys do. He's got a badass lifted, what is that, a 2016? 
2015. 2015. LML Duramax. This is the truck that everybody probably was so mad that I didn't get because I got a gasser, but hey, you know what? To each their own, right? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I could easily sell this and get what's in your garage, but I just can't do that. I it's just a, can't do that. Yeah, well, it's a very clean truck. You keep it real nice and, um, you know, I personally am not a huge fan of white, but I love it. I love it. I think it looks awesome. I think it works. Um, big wheels, big, big tires. Yeah. Turbo kit. Here, I'll show you. What uh, what kind of lift is on it? How how? Uh, it's a four to six inch adjustable lift. Currently set at around like five inches. Okay. Uh, twenty two inch wheels, fourteen inch wide. Uh, big turbo kit, making I don't know roughly six fifty horsepower, probably like 1,200, 1,250 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. Uh, so I mean it's a beast. I've had it for about two years. Color matched front end. Uh, it's been through like three, four, five sets of wheels. Um, bunch of stuff. But yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a it's a lot of fun and uh, it's definitely a beast. There's no doubt about it. I like it. Thanks. So this kind of gives me ideas of what I would like to do to that truck, and I'll probably be looking to you. Yep. And Mike. At any given point in time, buddy. Yeah. So I don't know how much of a lift if I'm gonna even do a lift on that truck, but we got. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I think what we talked about earlier was definitely fitting. Yeah. Right. Definitely fitting. Right. But we're not going to give those details away. No, we're not going to give that away. You'll have to find that out in a later video. Yes. So anyways, what have we learned here today, Jack, that uh, uh, pulling a chute on a road is probably not the best idea? Um, it's not the best idea. If you were to do it, just go down to Mexico, find your local route, take it, go down there. Um, yeah. And only pull the chute once you get to the speed limit. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you want to... You want the chute to actually come out, yes. you know, so yes, you have to, to do, deploy. yeah, if your speed limit's 35, you know, it might be a little too slow, but yeah. so you want to go on like a highway, like 60 miles an hour. Yeah. Yep. And then it'll, it'll yeah. do, do you, you don't need to surpass it just yeah, to test no. it. Yeah, no, no, yeah, just to test it. Yeah. So yeah. nitrous is sick. Now I got him into nitrous. Now he's going to put nitrous on his truck. <laughs> Exposed. My goodness. So, um, anyways, guys. Be sure to check Jack out. I'll have his info in the description of the video. As well as all my social media, be sure to hit that subscribe button and have a great day. Have a great day.